We've heard it said many times today that budgets are all about priorities. And while today I want to say congratulations to Senator Myrie and everyone else who is instrumental in keeping SUNY Downstate going, um, what I don't see is that same fight for our upstate hospitals in nursing homes. I don't see anything in this budget that is going to help them lift them out of the darkness that they face. I don't see anything in this budget that really addresses the opioid crisis, nothing included on xylazine. Direct support professionals who care for some of our most vulnerable New Yorkers. Instead of getting the $2 per hour increase, they're gonna get around 28 cents per hour. The Consumer Directed Personal Assistance Program has been gutted. There are no guardrails in place to protect the more than 250,000 chronically ill New Yorkers who rely on this program to survive every single day. And the hundreds of locally owned businesses and the thousands of people they employ are about to lose their jobs. EMS takes another hit today. Language designating EMS workers as essential workers has been bounced out of the budget, just like yesterday, $3 million was bounced out of the budget on diverted from the emergency services loan fund. This budget does not improve access to behavioral and mental health services for children, for people with special needs, or for adults. There are so many reasons why this budget should be a negative vote for everyone in this chamber. Mr. President, I am voting no on this.